weird thing. Okay, I'm a little bit. Okay, um, so here is the 12 piece Sonobe cube, and I've added um, the pyramid unit to the top part of it, and then I've added what's called um, element number two pieces to the corners of it. Um, now just real quick I want to point out this is a little different than the six piece cube because in the six piece cube when you assemble it the the slits are going diagonally but when you assemble it as a 12 piece cube it's not only twice as big but the little lines and slats on it are going uh, horizontally and vertically so that's an interesting difference to take note of. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to make uh, these pieces. This is, this is one, two, three pieces. We start with um, a rectangular two to one ratio piece of origami paper. This is what it looks like when it's finished. Um, so I'm just going to do that right now. I'm going to take a piece of origami paper. I'm going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to cut it right on that crease that I just made. So now that I have that, I'm going to fold it in half, crease it real well. I don't know what that is. Okay, okay. and then open it up. I'm going to fold it in half again. Okay, and now um, I'm going to fold it back this way. Okay, and see this crease right here? I'm going to use that as my guide. I'm going to fold this flap down diagonally right on that line there. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing with the other side with this flap. I'm going to fold it down diagonally right on that line. Oops, I must have done something wrong because those are not matching up at all. It's kind of hard to see with this camera in front of me. All right, so that should be a little better. It's a little more even. So now, you can see what the back side of it looks like. I'm going to take this flap and I'm going to fold it directly up so it's right, so it's like flush with this line right here. And so this tip matches up to this tip right here. So just like that. Okay, and that's a little tab. And then this one, depending on how I'm inserting it, I might leave it straight like that. And then if I I could end up bending it this way or that way, depending on, again, how I am inserting it into these slats. So I'm going to show you on this side how I would do that. Um, I would start right here in this slat. And stick that in there. Again, you might have a little trouble getting it in there. I'm actually going to cheat. Don't tell anyone. Cut this just a tiny bit. Sure, fits in there. Come on. Let's take the moment. Okay. Use this at the key. Trying till it works. Get in there. Come on. Oh, it's so difficult. <laughs> <laughs> you like, can you expect us to do this if you can't even do it? Yeah, baby. Hold on. It'll work, I swear. It always works. <laughs> All right. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So I got that in there. Okay. And now this is going to go like that. So, like that. I'm going to tuck this piece into this little part right here. Okay. Ta da! Okay, so you see how that goes in there, and then you can go back and kind of re recrease that and make it look good. Um, make sure it's in there all the way. Then, a little bit, thank you. Um, I can show you how to put another piece in right here. I'll just. Let's see, I'll stick this in right here, okay, and then 
I'll bend this around and stick them right there. And you can experiment with these as well. Um, you could try adding them to different parts, folding this flap um, this way and this flap this way, bending it like this, having it like that or like that, or this tab going that way. Just experiment with different ways and see how you can get it to fit into these slats and create different shapes. Um, but anyway, I'll just stick this in here real quick. Also stick it into this same flap. This is the one that was tricky before. Oh boy. Be better. There. Okay, and then I can make it a little bit neater. And then I could even add a third one. Um, I could add a third one up here to make it have those three spikes on the edge. So so there you go.